Welcome back to Modern Salon TV. I'm TJ Hughes. And I'm Trevor Deneen. Last episode, we looked at the 2011 Naha finalists for the Hairstylist of the Year Award. Saw the style scene at Princess Catherine and Prince William's Royal Wedding. And caught up with Robert Cromians. This episode, we check out the Naha Texture finalists. Head over to Orbe's backstage event in Las Vegas. And get a demo on applying semi-permanent mascara, a new salon service. The 2011 North American Hairstyling Awards are July 31st in Las Vegas. Finalists are eagerly anticipating the big event, and as the founding sponsor of Naha, Modern is particularly excited for the big awards ceremony. Check out these finalists from the texture category. Who do you think will take home the big award? Modern is so excited to announce the following finalists for the texture category in the North American Hairstyling Awards. Carlo Sintra, Louisville, Texas. DJ Riggs, New York, New York. James Merez, Campbell, California. Shirley Gordon, Wheaton, Maryland. Daniel Rodin, New York, New York. This segment is proudly brought to you by Redkin Fifth Avenue. Fashion, science, inspiration. Inspiring the future for over 50 years. Road to Naha. Being able to create your own trend and unleash your creativity, it, it's such a great experience. Enter for your chance to be part of Naha 2012 with expert coaching from master stylist winners. Enter online at redkin.com. It's your turn to inspire the world. Modern, top salons, and stylists headed to Vegas for a backstage look at Orbe's hair care two-day extravaganza. The event was packed with an owner's forum, spectacular stays presentations, and hands-on education. Watch all the action here next. I wanted something that really, really said, what is Orbe? Something that said, what's behind the illusion? This is the show. If your clients are after luscious lashes, don't miss this segment. O Salon in Mundelein, Illinois has taken on a new service that you can too. If you want to add extra money to your service tickets and have your clients walking out of the salon happy, watch this demo next on Crybaby, a new semi-permanent mascara. Semi-permanent mascara is a 30-minute service that can add between $50 and $100 in service revenue, depending on what you charge. Our artist from O Salon in Mundelein, Illinois uses Crybaby mascara. Step 1. Have your client remove her eye makeup prior to the service. Then, use a cosmetic brush to remove any remaining makeup. Then, apply eye pads on top of the bottom lashes to prevent the top lashes from sticking. Using a wand, separate the lashes. Apply the primer, fully coating the top and bottom of each lash. Use a lash curler to create more separation and curl. Our artist prefers a heated lash curler. Mix the coating agent with fibers to the desired consistency. Add more fibers to increase the thickness. Beginning on top, apply the mascara. Remember to separate the lashes using a pick. 
Next, use the mister to dry the lashes. This also reduces any irritation a client may feel while getting the service done. Repeat on the opposite side. Then, remove the eye pads from the lashes and place them below. Apply the primer on the bottom lashes. Apply the mascara and use a pick to separate the lashes. Using a tissue or Q-tip, remove any excess product that may have gotten on the client's skin. O Salon charges $35 for the top lashes and $25 for the bottom, or $50 for both. The mascara lasts for approximately two to three weeks and slowly disintegrates off, or the client can visit the salon to have it professionally removed. Television host, actress, and producer, Oprah Winfrey knows greatness in more ways than one. But even the media mogul relies on a personal makeup artist to make her face TV ready. For years, Reggie Wells has been credited for many of Oprah's best looks. Recently, at the makeup show in New York City, the award-winning makeup artist hooked up with modern's Maggie Mulhern to share how every artist can maximize their talents. Reggie, I was asking you, what is the biggest tip or trick that you can give to any woman that she can get from you to make her, her overall makeup look better? The professional makeup artist needs to be aware that everybody's not a professional. So when you come into a situation where you have women who are women, every professional needs to know that they need to be taught, they need to teach the women something. Give them the tip of life and teach them the wrongs and right. You know, as a makeup artist, we just tend to know, think that everybody knows what to do. I found that working with real women, like with my product here, you have to be taught. So I taught it in an educational way. So you go from one step to another step. Let the professionals know, each woman wants to know, where do you start and where do you end? The 64th Cannes Film Festival has already kicked off, and of course, all eyes are on the celebrities rocking the red carpet. From the latest couture and trends, Modern Salon TV reporter Kelly Sizen shows us the standout fashion next. The Cannes Film Fest attracts plenty of glamour, wealth, and fashion. With days and nights filled with press events, premieres, and award ceremonies, it's no wonder that the around-the-clock red carpet looks are a feast for the eyes. Five leading ladies topped our list as 24-7 style superstars. We want to know, do you prefer these stars' day or night looks? Angelina Jolie kept her trademark look for day and night events, sexy eyes and loose waves, and changed only her gown. Rachel McAdams went from rosy makeup and a sweet ivory dress for day to dramatic lips, bold earrings, and a glittery strapless top for evening. Farrah Fally looked fresh-faced in neutral makeup and an unfussy bun. She turned up the glam later with a sleek pony, dramatic eyes, and a skin-tight dress. Penelope Cruz looked girl next door with shiny locks and simple makeup. She later transformed with an eye-catching dress and Audrey Hepburn-inspired hairstyle. Rosario Dawson got dressed up for day with a half-up hairstyle and polished makeup. She later looked more casual with tousled hair and barely there makeup. Thanks for tuning in. Next episode, we go behind the scenes on a modern salon cover shoot with Demetrius Humus. But for now, stick around for some of your favorite industry faces. See you in two weeks. Hi, my name is Reggie Wells, and we're watching Modern Salon TV. Hi, I'm Ammon Carver, and you're watching Modern Salon TV. I'm Jonathan Anton, and I'm watching Modern Salon TV.